Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. Today we're going to be taking a look at Star Wars Squadrons. It is developed by Motive, published by EA, and is $39.99 on Steam for all four headsets. It lists keyboard and mouse support as well as gamepad support. It does not list HOTUS support, uh, and it does not list tracked motion controller support. Uh, the tracked motion controller support uh, is... It, it It's kind of a black mark for the game. Um... Because I just think that it should have it because the controller scheme of VR, there should be some level of support there. But at the same time, for a flight sim type game like this, uh, whether it's arcadey or more sim, um, I think a HOTUS is just a better option um, overall. Though if I didn't have a HOTUS, I would want to use track motion controllers. So um i don't know how i feel about that i think that they should have had support for it uh, i will be using a SciTech x55 uh hodis for this um it is not the logitech version it is the iteration before logitech bought SciTech. Uh, so that's the hodis that i will be using for this um so star wars squadrons probably the most uh anticipated vr title of the year one of the most anticipated vr titles of the year i'm excited to get into it unfortunately the steam reviews right now are middle of the road um so kind of looking like it's going to be a you know i wouldn't say as much of a disappointment as the walking dead onslaught was but i'm hoping uh i'm hoping it's better than that uh, it, it is boasting a single-player story uh, that is set after the Return of the Jedi. It also has 5v5 uh, multiplayer PvP combat, multiple classes of ships uh, with uh, multiple classes of customizable starfighters uh, for both the Republic and the Empire. Um, so I guess the big question is, does Star Wars Squadrons live up to the hype? Let's get in the game and find out. All right, so before we even get into doing the intro, just booting this up, this is the first screen that you see, uh, and it's really hard to see. It's really fog and tiny. Uh, it's demanding that I sign into my EA account to link with Steam, uh, only I don't have any way of doing this that I can tell. Um, my mouse doesn't work in here. Um, yeah, so it says that I can close it over there, uh, but I don't have any way of actually doing that. My controllers do not appear to be able to do anything, um, so the index controller is completely worthless. Uh, so those are out. Uh, there is nothing to mouse over. Uh, if this were Elite Dangerous, I'll probably be making a lot of those comparisons. Uh, I would be able to click on... The close button here you can see i think you can see that i am clicking on the close and nothing is happening i cannot see that in headset um so we apparently cannot play this without an ea account um that's not something i'm super happy about uh and even if i were super happy about that this implementation in vr is just straight garbage this is shit. this is horrible I, I don't have appropriate words to say how garbage this implementation is. And this is the first thing you see in VR. Worthless. Absolutely worthless. I hope it gets better from here. All right, so we have just logged in, and this is the first thing we see. Um, that was a really really shitty experience trying to type on that little itty bitty tiny screen um that was that was pretty much just the worst um i don't like why was it not ui like this this looks more uh like they took some tips from elite dangerous they've got the curved ui uh nice contrasty uh color scheme um good uh good font like, I don't see a lot of issues with this other than the fact that, you know, I don't have I don't have my index support anywhere in here or any controller, motion controller whatsoever to actually interact with this uh, in any sort of meaningful way. I have to uh, use my keyboard. Uh, I do like that they're speaking, only that it's going to kind of get annoying. If I wasn't doing a video, um, that would be better. Uh, being Having to look at my keyboard and, and sort of 
feel this out uh, is going to be a bit difficult. Uh, so let's see, Narrate Path to Accessibility enables activation of auto narration that guides you. Oh, so I can immediately turn it off. Um, I do kind of like having it on. I'm going to leave it on. Uh, so we'll just talk over her. Uh, accessible menu and chat uh, includes on-screen hint text as well as voice instructions for accessing text chat. Voice narration, both. On screen hint, this makes very little sense. I'm just going to leave it off. I don't think I'm going to need that. Uh, translates incoming voice messages into text. I oh, will try it. Voice narration. We'll try both of these. I like I like this. Hopefully this is... Uh... Oh, I wonder if this is um, to to mesh the flat players and the VR players. I like this this idea. This this concept right here, I like it. Uh, brightness is fine. Colorblind profile. We have three different. I was just talking about this with uh, with somebody that I play Eve Echoes with, who is also colorblind. That uh, it'd be nice if they had different uh, profiles here, and uh, it looks like they do. So that's cool. Uh, subtitles, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, size is fine. Okay, that's great. Chat text size. Uh, screen settings. Let's check the screen settings. Full screen mode. Uh, I like borderless. Screen one. We can swap the monitors. That's cool. Um, this should probably be fine for for my purposes. It is full screen on my 4K monitor. I'm recording it uh, 4K uh, down to 1080p. So um, bear that in mind when you're looking at it. Uh, yep, that's fine. Um, so I think we're good. Uh, escape to go back. Languages, English, German, Spanish, and French. Output. Uh, automatically select stereo surround based on your audio systems. Uh, that should be fine. Volume is fine. Voice chat enabled. Toggle VR. Oh, so we can toggle it on and off. Toggle between traditional display and virtual reality VR headset required. Nice. So we can toggle if we wanted to. Um, snap turn. Do we need snap turn? Snap turn angle. Um, FOV filter while turning. Nope. Turn that shit off. Um, nope. Nope. I can't adjust it. I was going to turn it. Let's see. Uh, so 50 is as low as you can go all the way on up to 100. Okay. So I'm going to turn that right back off. And then that's it for these, except and start game. Just going to dump us straight into the game here. Gotta love that music. Very iconic. Very awesome. There's a lot to uh, a lot to go through just to get the game up and running. All right, so we're back. After Alderaan is destroyed, pilots of the Rebel Alliance fight for galactic freedom. Meanwhile, the fearless Tie pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. So obviously we're going uh, Republic first. <clears throat> All right, so I've got um, I've got no Hodus options here whatsoever yet. Uh, just mouse and keyboard options. Uh, well, I guess no mouse options whatsoever. I can't use my mouse in here. So just keyboard really. Um, so it's leaning towards, if you're going to play this, you have to have a gamepad to really play it well. And the looking at these guys is very weird. Like one eye is very, very red. Um, and then one eye is very, very clear and they're not in sync with each other. Um, so like looking at, looking at the, um, the empire 
person. My right eye is completely red. And my left eye, she's completely clear and she's the color she's supposed to be. So the, the 3D effect here is not in sync with this looking at them. So here when I'm looking at her, my left eye, which I believe is the eye you're seeing, is perfectly clear. My right eye is all red. So the right eye is screwed up. I have to go way over here before she's clear in the the, the right eye. The, the center for the right eye is just off. Um, I don't know if they have some sort of software IPD that's being screwed up, uh, but something is screwed up and it looks very bad right now. Uh, so we're going to be a rebel pilot because I want to fly an X-Wing. Uh, we will customize... Um, the UI for this is not bad. Um, again, I wish we had another control scheme other than keyboard and mouse, but it is a seat experience. Um, we don't have a whole lot of options here, do we? Um, I guess we'll go with generic white guy one. Sure, why not? Human pilot one. And then Q and E toggles here. Um, this is what female. That looks like boobs and not boobs. There have been worse ideas, I guess. I won't let us down. I won't let us down. We can do this. Standing by. I'll outfly any Imperial pilot. Just happy to see me. Happy. This ought to be fun. No, that voice is not. I'm enjoy this. There have been worse ideas, I guess. Someone's got to do it. I've never been more ready. Standing by. Happy to see me? Is it all the same dude? Someone's got to do it. Why me? All right. That guy's veteran B. And then a name. Okay, that was a screenshot. That was not... How do I get to the name to actually edit it? I can't. So can I get my mouse? Can't click on it with the mouse. Can't do anything here. There's nothing I can do. I can't even can I, so all I can do is randomize a name. I can't type in my own name. Get back here. I thought they had a, like the UI is just janky. I see space to select pop up and then go away. Someone's got to do it. Well, I mean. Yeah, I'm not not falling in love with this UI here. Um, is there a way to? I thought there was a way to toggle the VR mode. Um, I was gonna create this guy outside of VR, but it doesn't appear to be giving me any options here. I can't do anything there. So yeah, I got I got nothing that I can do here other than just randomize this dude's name, and it doesn't even hold that. If I ran so we're Ace uh, Azamine, I go back, I come back. Oh, so it actually did keep it that time. Ideas, I guess. Hmm, it's just it keeps showing up. Bo Faloran. It's giving you the same names over and over again. I guess we'll be Ace Ass. I don't want to be Ace Ass. I want to pick my fucking name. Um, all right, toggle VR. All right, so we're toggling VR off so that I can come here and hey, in here I've got mouse support. Um, Let's edit him. And in here, I can uh, adjust my name. If I can type, I can adjust my name. So 
That's not what I wanted. Enter to confirm name and then press K to accept. So you have to come out of VR mode to uh, enter in your, basically to customize your, your pilot. Uh, let's go ahead and customize both of them while we're here because it looks like we get the opportunity to do that. And I guess we'll do this outside of VR for this one. Um, I really don't like this at all. Oh yeah, I think that's that's who we'll go with. Generic Imperial white guy, nine. All right, it's very much the same interface here. Patience and precision. Our victory is inevitable, of course. This won't take long. This won't take long. If it's a fight they want, it's a fight they'll get. My life for the Empire. Victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. Easy victories incoming. Nothing but the best. Okay. Our victory is inevitable, of course. Try not to get in my way. My life for the Empire. I have nothing to lose. Nothing but the best. I don't know. I don't think any of them are really great. A wise choice. Nothing but the best. Like this sounds too. I don't know. They all sound too monstrous. I have nothing to lose. Victory will be mine. Like this sounds more like a Sith voice. We will bring order to the galaxy. My life for the Empire. They won't know what hit him. This won't take long. Try not to get in my way. This sounds like a merc. I. I am an unexpected variable. I am an unexpected variable. Can you say something else? Estimate patience and precision. I guess we'll go with the specialist. Sure. I don't know. I don't care. Um, and there's no way to get to this through keyboard mapping. Oh, there we go. Enter. Enter worked. Uh, God, I can't type. Okay, actually, I'm going to go see if that would work in VR mode. Um, I'm pretty sure I tried that, and it didn't work, so I'm going to toggle back to VR now. Okay, we're back in VR. I'm going to move the cursor away so it's not on the screen. All right. Uh, continue in VR, setting will revert in... Yes. Look forward and hold, I guess that's space to recalibrate your headset. What button is that? Is that minus? There we go. Okay. Not the minus on the number pad. That doesn't work. No, minus on the actual keyboard pad, the harder one to find. A, a key that no one is going to be able to blindly just press. That's dumb. Why did it not save anything about this? Okay, that saved. That saved. That saved. This did not save. And yeah, pressing enter here does not let me do anything so yeah it does not work so go back here toggle vr mode off come back and try to rename him again because shit just didn't want to take except all right so now that actually accepted We'll tog toggle VR again. This is a pain in the ass. I'm leaving this in because it's a pain in the ass. Did that already? Okay, everything's good. I'm going to accept both of these pilots. Um, recommended the setting enables HUD elements that help you in a variety of ways, such as by clarifying your current objective, locations of friends and foes, etc. Instruments only. Um, I think I want to do instruments only, um, but I'm pretty sure I can change this later. Uh, so I want to see what the HUD elements are um, 
that you're giving up when you go instruments only. Uh, but I am eventually going to fly instruments only. For right now, we'll just keep it as is. Um, so recommended for players with some experience in flight games, balanced for challenge, rewarding adventure, players who want to experience story in thrill space, blah, 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 veteran and ace. Uh, I'm not an ace. Yep, fuck it. Let's, I'm not an ace, but let's, let's go ace. Let's see. Uh, are you ready to begin the single player story? Your progress will automatically be saved periodically. Yes, I am. Get my ass kicked in veteran ace mode, whatever. Whatever epic story mode this is. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away... Okay, that's pretty cool. Alderaan shows destruction. Sucks to be them. They incited rebellion and anarchy. <coughs> and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. If I have to. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. So we're starting off, Ty. I assumed we would get a choice, but it looks like we're going to be playing both sides of this. ISD Vigilance. After the destruction of Alderaan... orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. I Do guess. I understand that, Captain. A little bit. Perfectly. Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. We got a rebel in the making. Captain James. Everything ready, Lieutenant Carroll. Squadron's on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? No, During not really. The uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge, after all. You hear me, Teresa. But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Hey, is that me? And my extremely limited customization capacity. I want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Rebel day. Imperial victory. So we've got a uh, look at a thing. Yeah, that's not good UI. I'm just, I guess I'm just standing here. Yeah, not thrilled. Not thrilled with this, really. All right, well, I guess we'll, uh, I mean, I like this, I like this lobby. And this this reminds me again very much of Elite Dangerous is how you start up uh, in that area. But again, you can use a Hodus for that. Their their UI is worlds above anything that is that is here. Um, but seeing the Tie Fighter there is is up close and personal is pretty cool. Can I use the mouse? Okay, so calibrating made me look over this way. Uh, that's interesting. Um, 
Okay, enter will uh, satisfy the mouse click, so I don't have to have the mouse on the screen. Hopefully that is off of the screen right now. All right, look forward and yeah, no, I've done that multiple times. Okay. Begin pre-flight checks. Pilot, boot up your cockpit systems. Not a problem. Z to boot up systems. So this, this could all be done in VR. This could all be done with motion controls. Uh, tap T to target. That's this is bad. All these keyboard controls. Online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Oh, this is not working. Okay, this is the mouse required for this shit. I don't like this mouse and keyboard bullshit. Ah, the rest of the fleet is back from TIE Fighter is really tiny. We'll it's no wonder these things blow up so much. Helix Squadron, we're prepping your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots, follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate flight controls. Understood. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. Like that? Maybe we could uh, have some HOTUS options? Instead of this garbage that you've got me with the mouse and keyboard? From inside, you forget how big our Star Destroyers really are. Careful. The shields won't harm us. But flying so close to the hull, there's no time to get careless. You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. There's so little control with the mouse. It's so bad. Oh my god. Someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Keep your distance, Helix. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. Hmm. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. <laughs> Time pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. Do we know? Well, I would if I had a HOTUS. The fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gozanti transport is ready. Helix squadron, head to the Gozanti and dock for hyperspace jump. No problem. They really do have such a garbage view out of the TIE Fighter. It took over for me and did that. Invert or customize flight controls via the options menu escape. Okay. Um, oh, now it looks like I have mouse control here. Um, controls. Okay, can I... So here's the options, accessibility, controls, uh, remap controls, let's see. I'm gonna have to go through these one by one by one by one. Flight stick, here we go. So you can't start off with it, but there are options here. So point Z, there we go. Stick one. Flight stick device two here. Okay, no, um, that's my mouse. Device two is the throttle. Device three is 
the stick, it looks like. All right, so... I'm probably not going to bore you with uh, all of the setup for this. Um, because setting up HOTUS takes a while. Um, oh, there's a VR setting, so... Okay, that's... I already did that. Uh, EA account, screw the EA account. Um, just looking really quick. Difficulty setting is there. Auto target next. Uh, we can leave that off. Uh, auto target attack hostiles. Okay, we'll figure all of these out in time. There's a lot of options. A lot of options. You can turn individual heads up display items on and off. I like that. Chat log, pop up. Filter profanities. We don't need to filter profanities. We're big boys and girls. Uh, all right, so throttle input mode, continuous. No, we'll take that off. Roll down to stop boosting. Okay. All right, it's been close to an hour. I think I have something here. There's a lot of shit in here that I just don't know what it is. They wanted to use the POV hats for a lot of things that I would not want that used. Um, so I'm using that for the shields right now. Um, I don't think that I like what I have, and it's probably, usually this is a living thing until you get it where you want it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I would expect to be, you know, stuff that my right hand does just based off Elite Dangerous, but there's so many things that would go on hats um, that I really just don't know where to stick it. Um, so we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, like this comms wheel. How the hell does this comms wheel work? I don't understand any of this right now, so I'm going to have to come back to this as we play. So I'm just going to get in and play. Uh, one of the weird things that I found, like uh, in menus, so if I were to change this navigate up button to something else, it wouldn't change right away. It doesn't change until after you go back and say save as. Um, so that's a little weird and a little annoying. It threw me for a loop at first. Uh, just be aware of that if you're trying to remap your controls. But it looks like my HOTUS is working now. Uh, we'll give it. Uh, we'll give it a try here in a second. Hmm. We'll see about that. Not if we have anything to say about it. Dun dun dun. Are we introducing another character now? Oh no, we're just showing up. Make us feel bad by uh, killing everybody right off the bat. I didn't even get to, to declamp? That sucks. Alright, so now I have to get a feel for this. Okay, this needs... This is wrong. This is all kinds of wrong. Yeah. So... Pitch is reversed. Um, this should be roll. This should be yaw. So, a lot of stuff is broken. We're going back in. So my problem here, and it's great that the uh, controls are working here. Um, invert flight. Invert Y-axis controls while piloting your Starfighter. So this might work for me. But the thing that I was going to bring up here, that I forgot to bring up a second ago, was that I can't remap these to an access. Like, I can't, left or right, this is not registering an access here. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, 
Save changes, discard and exit. No, that was canceled, discard and exit. Okay. So this, there should just be a pitch. There should just be a pitch. There does, shouldn't be a pitch up and a pitch down. There should just be which access controls the pitch. That's all there should be. So this is this is fucking broken in my mind because this should be. I can't reset this if I wanted to do something differently. Um, so I I really really do not like that. Um, let's go back discard. So I guess we'll go back to here and say invert flight. But at the same time, um, that might change my pitch. And I don't know if it's going to change the yaw, but this should be an axis. And I can't change it. So that's fucking broken. Um, yaw left. So I can change that. And I can yaw right. Roll right. I still can't. I can't give it an access, and it's far. So I'm just going to have to live with the subpar garbage um, HOTUS shit setup. Nope. So inverting flight. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not, it's a general light stick. We've got dead zone and sensitivity, dead zone and devices, and that's it. Yeah, so we have garbage for options. Okay, so this is now working in the appropriate manner, but this is not. Yeah, that is not how I want this to go and that's going to be it's going to throw me for such a loop i'm telling you guys that right now that's not how i play this is not rotate that's not what that should be can't I don't know who I'm supposed to be following now. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for Yeah, I can't get used to this. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Yeah. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. It's so bad because I've got so much muscle memory built into uh, Eve. Uh, not Eve, sorry. Uh, so much muscle memory built into Elite Dangerous that I'm just trying to do what I would do in Elite. And yeah, that's what I'm judging this game against because that's the premier uh, VR space game right now. It's going to take a lot of getting used to before I can... Scanning to scan an unknown ship or object, face it and tap this to target it. Uh, then approach. Your scan will begin automatically when you are facing the target and within uh, 1,000 meters. Okay then. So which we have always been loyal to the Empire. See, we're loyal, I swear. No refugees aboard. Carry on. Ah, 
out. Like, I can't do fucking cool shit because... Ugh. This control scheme does not make sense at all. Who would put roll on the Z-axis? Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be following him. Who am I supposed to? Potential target... There? Check that ship next. So not good. I don't like any of it. Not part of the convoy. Check another ship. <sighs> so you're not impounding my ship? There. A ship's trying to flee from a simple inspection. We should teach them some manners. All pilots, bring your weapon systems online. Pilot, track it on your sensors and fire a small volley. Just enough to damage them. Let's see if they're hiding the refugees. There, stop that ship. Alright, alright. Scan us then. Just stop shooting. No refugees here, sir. Just smuggled weapons and a cargo of spice. Let the fleet handle those smugglers. We should get to the station. Actions, not assigned. Warning, some important actions have not been assigned to keys. Please go to the controls menu and bind all actions to keys, then restart from the last checkpoint. What? Alright, I'm just going to default all the keys and be... It's, it's going to be garbage. We'll do this later. Hey, uh, that's back to being broken. Legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Oh no, not that. Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here. Oh, invert flight. There we go. Derp, derp, derp. I did the wrong one. Yeah, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. POV up to divert uh, power. I had this set. Divert power to lasers. Lasers will recharge faster and hit harder. Um, I don't know how to target anything now. That's a horrible button for this. I don't like their mapping! Can't tell what my speed is. I feel like my speed is not what it's supposed to be. Oh god. Can't aim with this shit. This is why TIE Fighters die. Because the Empire doesn't know how to, uh... The Empire doesn't know how flight controls should work. Capability. 
hostility is dropping. Keep going. Like, this would be really fucking cool if I wasn't fighting my flight controls. Yep. Nope. I can't. I can't do this. I can't fly with these. Why can I not rebind these controls? These fucking controls are god awful. The station's defenses just yeah, no, that's great. The station's defenses. Three map controls. <clears throat> this is this is this is impossible this this is not this is not something that i can handle it's like imagine if you were using a a gamepad you're you're using your xbox one controller you're using your your ps4 controller and somebody set up and down to be left and right and right and left to be up and down it just it you're fighting 20 years of muscle memory and it's it's ass backwards from any other game that i have played I fucking i fucking hate it i really fucking hate it um you know what i'm going to do i'm going to unbind i'm going to unbind roll i'm going to unbind roll I can't roll right. Oh, um, five is clear. Nope. Um, discard and exit flight. I'm going to clear roll and clear roll and we'll see if that helps at all. Which sucks because roll is super important. Let's see. Helix Squadron, okay. destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. Why is why does it feel like my throttle's not all the way up? There we go. So I figured out uh, power to engines. There's power to weapons. I think, if anything, we have learned why TIE Fighters are so bad at what they do. I guess it sucks to be you. I know what I'm going to do for roll. I'm going to stick roll on the throttle. Um, controls flight. Got two buttons that are perfect for it. 
Let's save and exit. There we go. So now I can adjust as needed. I don't know where I'm going. Captain James, I think I found where the refugees are hiding. On our way. Pilot with me. We've got enemy activity. Pilots down. We have rebel X-wings on sensors. Repair kit. Okay. Press three to repair your hull. Uh, some starfighters like Equings have regenerating shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage their hull. That's great. That when you're aiming, reticle turns from white to red. Your shots will hit the target. Watch how the enemy is moving and lead your targets to land a perfect shot. There's a lot of configuration needed for this to really work. I like the, uh, I wish there was a, uh, a lead pip, but I do like the reticle changing. Where's that coming from? On me, and I can't fly for shit. Come on, die, you bastard. On my tail. Taking enemy fire. It's going to be a recurring theme of me bitching here, but uh, if I had good flight controls, this would be less of an issue. I can't fucking fly right. I can't chase the way that I'm supposed to be able to chase. I can't dodge the way I'm supposed to be able to dodge. Controls are... 
a real, real issue. I do like down there that you can see left is for uh, engines, I assume that's engines, and then up is for lasers. I don't like it that it's all or nothing. Did that just lock the thing that I sh was shooting at? used to such a sensitive yaw either. Jesus. I don't think that my throttle is... My throttle is not working. My throttle is not working. At all. Yeah, there's no slider. There's no slider on that. At all. There's no slider whatsoever. What am I tail? There we go. thing in the center it makes it very difficult to see. Tell where he is, though. And I have no visibility in this thing. Is that them to the right? That's half the rebel scum destroyed. There he is. I'm taking heavy fire. Gotcha. Sure, just stop right there for me. That's cool. Where the fuck did he go? There he is. That was weird AI, but apparently oddly ineffective strategy. Because I completely lost track is it, of his ass. Please just hold still and die. Yeah. 
have what it takes. Seeing them through the uh, the wall is nice. Slowly getting used to this janky ass control scheme. One last targeted. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh, shit. Um. Right. So. Yeah, I'm getting better. Getting better. Getting used to this uh, garbage control scheme here. Don't really, really don't like it. Really, really, really don't like it. What if I can run them into that wall? No, they stop. Yes, 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 I got that. They must be protected at Confine. Defend yourselves if necessary. I'll look for the refugees. Where did you go? The HUD element for finding uh, your target is actually more confusing than this over here. Yeah, me too. Everybody's hit. What kind of maneuver it just made, but it was not a realistic one. The AI is uh, apparently not very intelligent. Rebel down. Which I guess is more of a uh, comment on me since I keep dying to it. Though I guess the last time um, that was me dying to me. Keep stopping. I don't get that. They're done. Target destroyed. That was a nice moving moment. Save one of my tie buddies. I could fly the way I need to fly. This would not be challenging at all. Okay, we got one asshole left. Alright. Whew. That was a lot more rough than it needed to be. Them. We'll deal with you later, Station Master. 
You attack my station and customers, then blame me? Imperial thugs. Uh, he's never dealt with the uh, Empire before. This is not going to be fun because I can't fly the way I need to fly here. any button what is the any button what is the any button I'm mashing a lot of buttons and I'm not seeing my guy do anything okay. uh, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do hit I've hit every single button what the fuck does he want me to do mean mash any button I'm mashing all of the buttons I'm <laughs> what the fuck is going on here all buttons are being mashed. There are there's there's much many mashing of buttons happening here. There's there's screenshots being taken. What is the any button? What is mission objectives? Main objectives. I don't understand what it wants me to do. There's, there's, what the fuck? There's a whole lot of what the fuck happening right now. Um, okay. Empty hard points. Laser cannons. Twin ion image, no bonus for drawbacks, so, okay. That's something I didn't know we had. Alt, space, alt. I've literally hit every single button. I appear to be f broken. I think I might have bugged out. I've got... Nothing that I can do here. There is nada. 
I'm okay. Let's just restart from the last checkpoint. Maybe start a mission, retry from checkpoint. Are you sure you want to retry from last checkpoint? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to hurt innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Doki doki. Pilot, see if you can bypass his shutdown. Mash any button. I'm mashing any button. Like, I can't do anything at this point. This is un this is not playable. This is not playable. What am I supposed to do? My hands aren't moving. My character looks like he is frozen and waiting for input, and I'm mashing all the buttons on both the HOTUS uh, on my keyboard. I am mashing all of the buttons across everywhere what does it mean mash any button like this this target acknowledge pings calm wheel focus shields convert power convert to power um yeah None of this. The only thing I can think is that it's some VR related issue. So if we come here, we come out. I'm mashing all of the buttons and nothing is happening. All right, well, I guess I can't get past this section. Oh, I found how to look around. Number pad will let you look around. Like I'm, I'm not just touching the button. I'm, I'm literally like, mashing it as in just repeatedly pressing it over and over and over and over and over again and it's doing jack shit somewhere in here there is an option for um would it be under controls mash we're looking for mash settings There is apparently something that you can say mash versus hold. Um, these are all flight settings. Those are not the options we want. Narrate path to chat. Okay. Oh, disabled state input. Mash hold. There we go. Hold any button. What button is the any button? I'm holding a lot of buttons on both the mouse and the keyboard. It's just not registering me pressing any button. Um, let's try this again. We will restart this one more time. Um, and if this does not work, then this is just going to be it. We didn't get through the prologue. Um, this is going to be a not recommended because you can't, you can't play the game. Uh, your HOTUS support is abysmal.
Oh, no, 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 abysmal is probably too strong a word. Hoda's support is bad. It's there, but you can't adjust pitch and yaw and roll, um, which is like the most important thing. You, you can't change the most important thing uh, about the Hoda's support. Uh, so that's just fucking bad. Um, I spent most of this playing around with controls and very little of it actually doing anything. There we go. There we go. Wow, that was... A uh, few of you left to divert power to engines. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Just we stopped. I was gonna make that, and we stopped. Rip. Echo Squadron, mid rim. Hey, almost forgot you were there. Thank you. 
There's a resupply. Apparently we just flew by that thing. So this is a resupply ship? Figuring these controls out, I don't like, I still really don't like them, but. We can't either. Being able to do more, uh, flashy maneuvers. I keep wondering if this is some Imperial ruse to make us leave the fleet undefended. Then we'll just have to fly to the rescue and get back ASAP. This foil's locked. Boom. Admiral, we're here. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. With the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. It's risky, but flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. Fire missiles. Enemy on my tail. That's what I was missing. fire missiles. That's four to fire a missile? Okay.
Can you hold still so I can shoot a missile at your face? kill a single fucking TIE fighter, so yeah, no. Like a tie fighter to me. Good enough for me. Joining formation. seem like they're all on my fucking tail and not getting off oh it's those ones okay Following Echo Leader? Squadron, there's a quasar bearing down on the convoy. And filled with reinforcements. Take the ties down. No! Echo 2's gone! I don't know where I'm supposed to be right now. Sometimes. You did your job. There they are.
Mission failed. Well, fuck me. I getting destroyed here? with them. Sounds fun. This is just chaos.
the Star Destroyer will be watching all possible vectors. They can still find you. Pilot, it's risky. But if we can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance, we might throw them off the convoy's trail. Wait, you two are attacking the Star Destroyer? No, why not? Ooh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of death in this. Let's get that convoy to a safer location. Head to the far side of the MC eighty. I don't know what the far side of the MC eighty is. Frickin's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head to the far side of the MC-80. Frigate's gone. Refugee convoy, we're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed, Joe. Wait. The Star Destroyer will be watching all possible... Shit. <laughs> that one was on me. I overcorrected. That's not good. Frigate's gone. Refugee convoy. We're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Wait. The Star Destroyer will be watching all possible vectors. They can still find you. Pilot, it's risky. But if we can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance, we might throw them off the convoy's trail. Wait. You are attacking the Star Destroyer? Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Straight here. We can take down the Vigilance's targeting. That'll leave a mark. I would appreciate that, but it's not happening. <laughs> so I don't see what I'm supposed to be attacking, and it looks like destroying the weapons. Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's target. I don't get where here is. I'm under attack! Okay, I'm missing something here. I figure out where does he want me to attack. Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. I'm under attack! Strike here. We can take down the Vigilance's targeting. I would be going the way of Biggs and Wedge here. I don't know. Keep those shields down. What does he want me to strike? Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's targeting. Echo Squadron, keep the Star Destroyer occupied. 
I don't see where he's saying here. Let's hope your faith can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's targeting. Yeah, there's There's no marker anywhere. Destroy Star Destroyer's targeting system. Yeah, well, it's not working. He hadn't. He hasn't pointed anything out, and there's no marker on my my radar. Okay, I think I know what to hit now. I'm not entirely certain. Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's targeting. Skywalker moment. We're getting there. Keep firing. Okay. Yep. So that is it. The vigilance looks very different when you're fighting against it. Glad you got the chance. This is an ace pilot. Oh, okay. That feels cheating. That's probably a good place to stop. Oh, four years later. Okay. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia Sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their Empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. 
but the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the New Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. You've completed the prologue. Yay! Your adventure is just beginning. You can now continue the story recommended or go into the main menu and access customization, practice, or multiplayer. Let's go back to the main menu because we're going to be done here for a minute. Uh, I didn't get to nearly as much of the things and stuff and do all of the stuff. Um, New operation begins. All player ranks have been reset. Placement matches for fleet battles are now available. Play now to calibrate your rank. Um, I can't even click that. I can't even. There's one of us. So, did it just kill my HOTUS? My HOTUS is dead now. Okay, that works. But I no longer have any menu options on my HOTUS. So I can... I've got my throttle. My throttle will do things but not uh but nothing else yeah so this is all kinds of foobard right now uh so i'm gonna take a minute and we'll be back with the outro Okay, so uh, this feels like a very poorly ported VR title with many, many day one uh, launch issues. Apparently my keyboard doesn't have the any button since I wasn't able to proceed past the mash it stage. <laughs> um, this is being reported by a vast number of players along with a number of other bugs ranging from FPS being locked at 30 uh, to completely disabled controls and dead zone issues for HOTUSes uh, that basically render the, the HOTUS useless. Um, the, the, the FPS locked at 30, one of the devs came out and said something about the game thinks it needs to be running HDR when it's not hooked up to HDR, but people don't have HDR options. It just feels like a bunch of bullshit. Um, this feels like EA wanted to push this out before the devs were finished with it. <gasps> Shock! Cause they've never done that before. Anthem. Um, Speaking of exceptional assholes, uh, I absolutely did not like the forced account linking. The UI for the garbage forced account linking bullshit was a dumpster fire of god-awful UI UX. Uh, the tiny little itty bitty font with the low contrast color schemes and a resolution that no one can reasonably read, it was just awful. Worst fucking thing, and it's what greets you as soon as you start up this game. You get nothing else. You are blocked by a wall of EA garbage, dumpster fire bullshit, and it pisses me off because not only do I, I know that all they're doing is stealing my PII, they're, they're forcing the account link so that they can take any personally identifiable information that is in Steam, rip it out, put it in their system, and before I even see the game, before I even get to play through the prologue, they're going to take that shit from me, so EA got what they wanted. They got their money maker. They're going to go take my PI and, and sell it to whoever the fuck wants it or use it for whatever the fuck marketing purposes they want to pad their numbers. Um, so they got their shit out of it and we got a shitty game because it wasn't ready yet. And I would, and it's just shitty is too strong. It's not shitty. Um, but it definitely should not have been released for another month or two. Um, so yeah, just that before anything else, before even getting into the game, being forced to sign into an EA account, didn't like that. If I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I uh, pretty strongly did not like that. Uh, and not only did I not like the fact that they made me do it, they did it in such a shitty way for VR. I That just pisses me off in nth degree more. Um, 
but yeah, moving on. Uh, I do see a lot of Elite Dangerous influence in the design of some of the things. Uh, not enough in others, but in some of the things. For example, the curved menu UI, uh, the hangar view, the pit management system. Uh, other aspects, however, are lacking in the poor segmentation of controls for rebinding keys, uh, the poor implementation of HOTUS support, cockpits that cut off a substantial portion of your view, um, mouse interactions not being visible in the headset. Uh, all of those need need just work, just a lot of work. Um, the segmentation when rebinding controls. Um, so like Elite Dangerous has, these are your flight controls. These are your controls when you are in FSS mode. These are your controls while you're in the, the Scarab. These are your controls while you're in a station. And they segment all of those out. So even like the while you're in your ship and you're sitting in your cockpit, there are different modes. There's when you're looking at your menu mode. There's when you are scanning things. There's things when you're in the discovery scanner versus the planetary scanner. All of those are broken out into different blocks uh, for you to map controls individually, and they are isolated and separate from each other. So you know when you're working on something that you can uh, comfortably rebind the same keys that you just found for something else. Um, we need that sort of polish on the controls here because it was very confusing. I think they all had the same prefix, like it was uh, system menu such and such, system menu such and such, system menu such and such. Uh, but they just, it wasn't very segmented. It wasn't segmented very well. Um, poor implementation of HOTA support just overall. Um, not being able to bind the X and Y axis of the stick is devastating to the HOTUS support. Uh, I know it looked like I didn't know how to fly for shit, uh, but that's because basically what I was doing was playing a PlayStation or an Xbox game, but instead of holding the controller the way you're supposed to hold it, flip it upside down and try and play with play with it like that. Uh, just everything that everything, all of my muscle memory um, and and years of playing Elite Dangerous have taught me. I had to fight against that and it just it didn't feel comfortable it didn't feel good i don't have my controls set up like that for a reason because it's not a good way to fly uh in my opinion uh it just doesn't work for me so having to fight that because i couldn't bind controls feels pretty shitty uh the cockpits i know that we're we're fighting against you know decades of of lore and how these these cockpits were designed in the movies and they weren't designed back in the 80s they didn't expect people were going to be in a vr system and be sitting in these cockpits and having to actually fly them and look out of them and acquire targets 60 percent or so of your view is obscured by your cockpit um and so basically what i think i'm going to have to do is just recalibrate my headset down here like this and then scoot up so that I can see, because all you need, all you need is just your head position. If you raise just a little itty bitty tiny bit, just like a foot up will give you so much more viewing angle. Um, this is where you kind of have to take some artistic license and and just squeeze, you just move the player's head up a little bit. You know, put it like right up next to the glass uh, so that we can actually see and, and the cockpits are usable. Um, that's just my hot take on that. I'm sure a lot of dedicated hardcore star wars fans are not going to be happy with that take but whatever i'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to have a good game i like star wars i love it but uh i also want to be able to see out of my cockpit i don't want to have a big block of instrument instrumentation panel like literally right here as i'm looking straight ahead not being able to see out of this tiny little porthole for the tie fighter um yeah it just the the cockpits weren't all that great um Mouse interactions, that's that's a no-brainer. I don't know if it was because 4K versus the resolution, 4K monitor versus the resolution of what was in the headset, uh, but not seeing the mouse cursor in headset, and then that not, the, where the mouse was clicking, not lining up to the visual elements on the screen. So, you know, there's a element on the screen over here, but to actually click it, my mouse needs to be up and over here, uh, and I just sort of, you have to hunt and feel for where that is. That's not a good experience. That needs to be fixed. Um, 
the story for for good points the story is intriguing uh so far and i'd like to see more of it uh i would like to know if uh commander uh change swap teams um i can't off the top of my head think of a funny name for him um whatever anyways um commander dude i can't think of a good name for him commander dude swapping sides i want to see if he actually lives i have a feeling he's probably gonna die um so i'm interested in finishing out the story i don't think that i would play this competitively in pvp uh just the issues and the problems with the 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 hodas setup i wouldn't want to play it with mouse and keyboard i wouldn't want to play it with a gamepad uh, I want to play it with a HOTUS. I find it more immersive. Uh, I just find that it feels better for me. Uh, and it just, the the polish isn't there for it to feel good enough for me to want to play competitively. It would just be frustrating. So I probably will not play this multiplayer at all. Um, just completely cross that off until they fix uh, some of these HOTUS issues. Um... Yeah, the game in its current state, uh, I cannot recommend it uh, if you are a HOTUS player. If you're a HOTUS player and you want this game because you think it will be the Star Wars version of Elite, I'm um, sorry, it, it pales in comparison to combat in Elite. It pales in comparison to, well, across the board when, when comparing this with Elite, the premier VR space, uh, anything game in VR right now. Uh, it just it doesn't hold a candle to it, uh, which is unfortunate because I was hoping that it would be elite with Star Wars. Really, I really was. Uh, I don't know if you picked up on that. Uh, elite is a great uh, space game in VR, and if you could take that, make it combat focused, um, which elite isn't, uh, make it combat focused uh, and give it the Star Wars IP. This could have been fucking amazing. Could have been amazing. Um, as it stands, all of these things, everything that I've mentioned, is something that can be fixed with time. Which takes us full circle back to Exceptional Assholes, EA, pushing this out before it was ready. One month, two months, that's all it probably needed. Just uh, maybe a beta test? If this were a beta test right now, I would be singing the praises of this game. If this had launched to an open beta test of PvP mechanics, I would be so ecstatic with this game right now. I would be critiquing it for some things that it needed to fix, um, but I'd be wholeheartedly recommending this game, assuming they fix those things. Uh, so right now the verdict is check back in a month or two, uh, look at reviews in a month or two, see if they've addressed any of these issues, because right now for HOTUS players, the game's unplayable. If you're playing it on a mouse and keyboard or a gamepad, then you probably still it's probably still a reasonable pickup for you. You probably want it. I'm reviewing this based off a of HOTUS player's perspective. So uh, that's going to be a not recommended for me. Uh, and that's going to do it for this review. I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and sub if you found this useful. I will see you guys later.